what's up guys we are back for another video this is a fallout 4 mod review i told you this was coming actually a while ago but some things happened but doing it now so for this mod we have <clears throat> ps4 unlocked settlement objects by andrew cx and then we are also doing this one right here it's same it's un unlocked settlement objects it's just a different uh version they're two different mods by the same person but they're just a little bit different and then we'll also I'll also show you this one this so is uh scrap plants leaves skeletons and much more uh version four um who is this by here it's hold on i gotta look to see who it's by i don't Um, right, so I don't know, hold on, let's go back up, see if I missed it. Yeah, I don't know who this is by, but uh, it's really a helpful mod. So here we are, I'm not going to be doing a full mod review, just because to do a full mod review on these mods would just be insane, honestly. So, all right, here we go. This is my sanctuary right here. I'll close this. This is the entry to my sanctuary. So you walk in here. Got like this little castle entry. Do I actually have anyone up here? Sorry. Gotta check this. No, I do not. Okay. So this is built with uh, modded. I'll tell you what, what objects are modded. When I built with them, these castle walls are modded. There's a lot more like this with, uh, he pretty much just, these are concrete walls, but with a different texture. They, he adds so many different kinds of textured concrete walls. It's insane. Okay, so then we come in here. That's all modded right there. I'll show you that in a second. These walls are modded. You can find them in the wood section. They just act like wooden walls, but they just have a different texture. These are brick textured. There are so many different textures. He's got institute textured ones that are like, I guess I'll show you a little bit, but yeah. So I'll just show you just, I'll show you the concrete and the wood section that he has modded. There's a lot more like these, but I'm not going to show you those. I'll show you just those. So you kind of get a grasp, but you know how expansive this mod really is. Okay. So here we go. This is modded, this is modded. These are all modded walls. Okay, and so that's the wood. And then he has matching floors and matching stairs for all of those. And he is adding matching roofs into it, I would assume, because th these are all modded. Because he's doing, he did that with concrete. He's just added matching roofs for all these textures. And he already had matching stairs and matching floors for him. But he update he or she, I guess it could be a she, updates, uh, updates this, I'm pretty sure, every day. Every day I log on and there's always an update for it. So whoever, or Andrew CX updates this every day. So you guys, you guys get it. There's just a ton. I'll, I guess I'll show you. Let's see. There we go. Um, he also has railings that match. But yeah. And so this is the first house I made. Uh, I need to redo this entryway. But come in here. Um, all this is not modded. Uh, this is modded. And then he has these. They're carpeted floors. Uh, he has the staircases for these as well. And he has... Um, just a bunch of different colors and he has the upper floor version as well this is a modded fridge it's a pre-war fridge it doesn't open but you can store things in there um, this is a modded institute cafe um, some more modded stuff uh, modded towels you can place them down wherever um, let's see what we got clean carpet or clean rugs he has that as well now he also has torn up carpet as well uh, Let's see, nothing modded in here. Uh, so he has some. He has actually quite a bit of modded paintings. Um, that's modded right there. Actually, that might not be modded. Um, that's modded. Adds like he pretty much adds a bunch of clean 
um, furniture and clean things into the mod as well as he, he's just pretty much adding s so much stuff it's so hard to you can't explain it um, he's added trees and bushes um, here are some foundations in the concrete tab he added a bunch of new foundations I need to switch out these staircases um, added some new trees added just random structures like this and stuff uh, that fountain is not part of the structure I just put it put it in there um, added these flag poles um, he added a clean American flag too which was pretty cool I thought um, here we go skip this part adds clean cars you can't actually drive them around but they're just uh, for aesthetic uh, purposes and I think they look pretty freaking sweet so I'm kind of rebuilding sanctuary here um, he added clean picket fences, but they just they don't snap together. These aren't the clean ones, but he did add clean ones. The only problem is they don't snap together. So, and that's a problem with I think the scripts. He added a clean mailbox, uh, hedges. As you can see, I don't think there's anything in there. There's that fridge that I added, but you guys have already seen that. But yeah, I think the snapping. A lot of the fence objects that he adds in don't snap together, and he said it's a problem with the um, uh, scripts because he can't get them or something due to the uh, restrictions put on PS4. Here's the scrapping mod. You can scrap a lot. Um, there are some things that you cannot scrap though, so just kind of be careful. Save it before you start scrapping this stuff because I didn't, and that kind of looks weird. It doesn't look very well because it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't look very good. And see, I scrapped all the grass off the top of it thinking that it would scrap the dirt under it but it didn't sometimes it does though sometimes it'll scrap the dirt under it so it's kind of weird so i would just save so if you do end up with something like this you can just reload your save and not scrap that um what else do we have okay so this is our next little modded area and this isn't i'll show you my sanctuary when i'm done but that won't be in this video i'm still kind of redoing it we have this pretty cool truck and you can put stuff in the back of it too Again, you can't drive it. Um, here we go. Here, this is where you get to s look at the trees, how cool they look, how cool. And like pre warish you can make your uh, sanctuary or any settlement look. Um, we have this bike. I think it looks pretty cool. I just have mine like resting on that hedge. Thought it looked kind of cool. Um, we have this modded grill. Mm. Then we have, you can see I built a house with. Um, just some modded concrete institute walls looks uh, pretty pre-war I think it does except for the lack of windows just has bars um, and then okay here's another bush that he added in um, another car he added a lot of doors uh, I will go through the doors just because there he's just added so much with the doors I mean he's added so much in every category but the doors I just I thought there were some pretty cool ones in here um, oh, I have a vault build vaults anywhere mod as well. Uh, that's not part of this mod. It's part of a different mod. Um, these are some of the stuff he had, or some of the doors he added in here. Let's glitch it through something so you can actually see the real color. Um, he added submarine doors. I thought this was awesome. He just added these today or, uh, yesterday, I think added double doors. I'm so glad, uh, he will be doing these in different colors. I imagine he's just kind of. He, can't, he adds them in waves because he does updates. Um, like I said, every once in a while, this is a sliding door, so it just... Shh. But um, here's kind of another submarine-looking door. But yeah, he, uh, he adds them in waves, so don't think he's done with one category. Like, he continually adds stuff to every category. Here's, like, a castle door. Um, another just, like, kind of corroded door. Um, maybe this glass door. Just a bunch of stuff. Uh, some more double doors, garage door, jail doors, some diner doors. Um, both of them have the windows broken out. Uh, bookshelf door, I thought that was pretty cool. And then it's like a secret bookshelf and moves to the side. And then also a bank vault door. And all right, then we'll continue on. I just had to show you that. I thought there were some cool things in there. Um, then we just have uh, some more, uh, some different textures for our concrete walls. 
Um, do we have anything? Actually, we do have some modded stuff in here. Um, I, he added wheelchairs into the game. That's from Build Vault stuff anywhere. That's another mod. It's a really cool mod. Um, I haven't finished decorating that bathroom. This hospital isn't done yet. Um, he added these, these little like gurneys. Yeah. Um, and then there's a different version of it with the headrest slightly up. He added these uh, hospital lights and then the IV racks. Um, some more. These are actually sheets, but whatever. He added that too. That's an institute uh, stool. Um, there's this. He added this as an x ray thing. I accidentally placed it and it sunk into the wall, and now I can't scrap it, but it looks a lot better um, when it's not pushed into a wall. But it's, uh, oh, yeah, this is a modded, like, clean water thing. Uh, what do we got going on here? Um, as you can see, what I've done, uh, I've used the scrap mod where you can scrap most things to really clean up the road right here. Uh, this texture is kind of popping through the road. I'm thinking about deleting it, but I don't know yet. Um, and then this is the sanctuary that I really like this part back here, just because the trees make it look so cool. And I will be adding trees to the rest of it. Um, added some more bushes. Yeah, he also adds some uh, dead trees as well. So yeah. Some cool stuff. Here's another pre-war house I built. It's not decorated inside. Uh, these roofs, um, these are not modded. Uh, these are the barn and warehouse roofs. I just um, used a special trick to get them on there. You can watch one of my other videos um, where I do a tutorial or two. I can't say that word. I do a, a demo thing where I show you how to do that. Um. Yeah, that's my dead Dave's dive bar. That's uh, pretty much it for the mod. Um, I mean, there's so much more, but I, I really didn't want to go through the entire thing because it would have just taken so long. So I will right now just go through a few of the categories just to show you um, how much there is. Like, I'll just go through the tree category. It's not very interesting, but I'll just run through here real quick so you just see how many trees he's added into the game just to give you a kind of a scale or a size for this mod um also oh it's oh yeah i was gonna say if this is pretty much the best settlement mod um, i've ever seen on ps4 if you like settlements i mean if you love settlements i would definitely get it the, there's no question about it get this mod see you can scrap some of this stuff um if you like if you just sort of like settlements i would still get it it adds so much cool stuff into uh into the game well, she's been stuck up on that roof for like the longest time but yeah that's that's pretty much it um i guess i'll show you show you some stuff in the furniture uh, I pretty much just got this mod because all the pre-war stuff. Really like clean stuff. Um, uh, just a quick little like kind of guide. If you have a modded item, it's, it'll say it'll pop up a um, the little note on the top. Sorry, I can't talk. Just say added by mod, so you know that that was added by a mod. There's some institute stuff. I'm just kind of going through it fast, so you can kind of stop the video if you really want to see it but yeah that's I'm just showing you the scale of this mod just how much stuff he's added um, that's I'm, oh, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you guys because he added like a bunch of new uh, lamp posts he added all kinds of crazy things like he has a printing machine like you know uh, the newspaper printing machine from Diamond City he added that in he added all kinds of things added these barrels in um all kinds of crazy stuff guys so that's gonna be it for this video but before i leave i do kind of want to show you this factory before i scrap it because i will be putting a restaurant down here for my uh settlers yeah see that house looks pretty pre-war and that's kind of how i want to get most of my sanctuary besides the houses that i can't scrap but here's my factory i just thought this was cool thought i'd show it to you guys yeah, this is all my food stuff and then here's all my weapons and armor or no yeah that stuff over there was my clothing and this is all my ammo 
It's double decker too. Okay, one more thing. I just want to show you this next project I'm working on. Sorry for dragging out these videos, but I mean, if you if you've already got the information you need, you just bail. But I um, I'll probably actually be redoing this entire settlement. Um, if you guys want me to, I will do a review on this settlement. But I tried to. Now I will better be able to build this with the new modded stuff that I have. But I tried to build the Andy Griffith uh, sheriff's. Um, like sheriff's office or courthouse I think I did pretty well on the inside the outside that looks nothing like it but the inside I just need some I just need to add a row of chairs right there then we have uh, his desk and then I need to decorate this but the jail cells I'm pretty proud of myself with the jail cell set up right here there's actually a little indent in the wall right there but yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself with the cells. And then you even have the little back room where Barney always sleeps and falls asleep. The bed was right here. And then right here would be the gun rack. Or right there. I'm not sure. No, it was right here. But yeah, sorry. I just thought I'd show you guys that before I tried to reattempt it in uh, pre war building materials. It's my post apocalyptic Andy Griffith show courthouse. But alright, that's going to be it for this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit me up with some comments down in the bottom. I'll get back to you. I'm still a small channel, so I'll see your comments. <laughs> but alright, everyone, have a good day, and do not forget to like, and you guys should subscribe as well. Alright, see you guys.